this tutorial that I'm going to be doing for Rach and Bella Crafts over in Facebook and Instagram. Um, it's for the 31 gratitude journal prompts. And this prompt is number seven, love. Um, right here, I'm just picking out, I picked out two 12 by 12 sheets out of the paper pad. And one of them is the six by six squares. And I picked a square that I'm going to use um, to write on for the little journal cover. And here I overlaid it with another six and a quarter by six and a quarter piece of cardstock. So here I'm just gluing it and I'll glue the two pieces together. So here I have a couple pieces of fabric that are scraps and I'm just going to cut them down and layer them together and I will embellish the corners of the journal piece and I will also then sew on a couple buttons to each cluster and you'll see me do that later on in the video. I really love how the buffalo plaid looks with any color that you put it with. Fall colors are just so lovely. The reds, yellows, orange, greens, and browns just go so well together. So that was my inspiration for this piece and obviously because it's fall and they're great colors to work with. So please just continue to watch as I um, go along and make the clusters and I'll try to maybe speed up the process a little bit for you guys. All right, talk to you guys soon. This is a photo of my beautiful daughters and I just wanted to show you guys. I learned a new trick where you can um, use freezer paper and you can iron it onto fabric. This one I used a thinner fabric um, muslin and I ironed it onto the fabric and I printed their photo right onto it. I did need to use another thicker piece of paper to um, push it push the bottom down into the printer um, and that helped to get the, the corner pieces in so that I can print it and it printed just fine and uh, I also showed the buttons I used um, I got them from Amazon and here I'm just writing a, a simple um, letter to my daughters and I'll probably put this piece into a journal that I'll be making for them and it'll probably go either in the front or the back of the cover. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. Talk to you guys soon.
So I ended up stopping the video so that I could quickly print out a photo of my daughters and I just cut the, the pieces apart because I wanted to fit it in closer together in the corner there. So right now I'm just, you'll see me here gluing the pieces on and then adding the clusters and I will then show you how I sew the buttons in and then pretty much I'm done. I use the stamps that you could see there with Distress um, ink and I just stamped a couple of the letters and here I'm just putting down the pieces where I want them to go and making sure that I'm not covering up any of the words. I know this is a simple piece to make, but I really enjoyed making this video and putting this together and I loved um, seeing everybody else's things that they made for the journal prompts and they came out so gorgeous. And here you will now see me sew on the buttons onto the fabric.
is all. I hope you guys liked watching this video and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good night.